I hope you're watching game film on that thing. Huh? Why? Is something wrong? Uh, no. No, everything's fine, but, uh... Hey, spill it, windbag. Whenever you can't speak, I know there's something up. <laughs> it's nothing. It's just, uh, you know, the... Uh, well, you know those guys who sell phone accessories at those kiosks in the mall? Bejeweled cases, uh, chargers, headphones, like that? Yeah? And my uncle owns a string of those. Long Island, Brooklyn, uh, Trenton. I used to work at them in the summer. Okay. What that got to do with me? If you don't sign a bigger contract in the off-season, I'm going to be working at one of those kiosks. I don't want to work at a kiosk. But I'm doing all right, right? Yeah. Yeah, you're doing fine. I, I talked to a couple of clubs who might like to sign you. I just think that maybe you could step it up for a bit for the rest of the season. You know, the better you play, the more options you have. Hey, don't even worry, man. I'm a ball. I got you. Ain't none of us about to work at no kiosk. <laughs> kiosk. Yo, so what's up? It's not every day that you in the hood. Just wanted to drop a little knowledge your way. We're in an exclusive club. A lot of people think the NBA life is easy, but I know different. There's ups and downs, pressures most people got no clue about. Want to make sure you're dealing okay. Oh, yeah, man, I'm good. All right, because if I learned anything, it's that it's, it's a long season. We got 82 games. It's a lot of pitfalls. Going to go to the club, going to be girls, going to want to party. You're going to be trying to live the life that the vets are living. But you just got to stay focused, man, and make sure you keep your eyes on the prize. I was in town with another one of my clients, Dante Exum, and had to see if the rumors were true. Guess they are. New digs. Look who's moving up in this world. <laughs> I'm sure you already know Dante, the biggest player to come out of Australia since, uh, well, since ever. He can run the point, move over to the two guard, whatever anybody needs. He's about to take the league by storm. Yeah, we'll see about that. And this is the man I was telling you about, Dante. Destined to be the biggest undrafted success in the history of the league. Ballin', making money, going places. Maybe, but he's gonna have to go through me to get there. Ha! <laughs> Boy, you acting like that's a challenge. Take it however you want. You'll see what I mean on the court. <laughs> fellas, fellas, let's keep it cordial. We're all in the same money-making family here. Did you improve your game yet, man? My game speaks for itself. I'm bringing a whole new brand of basketball to the U.S. You'll see. <laughs> Yo, yeah, you the million dollar rookie, I'm the thousand dollar rookie. But I'm about to show you and the whole world who really deserves that money. Good luck with that, bro. <laughs> Player. Psst. Player? Ha! Dante Exum. What a scrub. I guess he's my new rival in career mode, basically the new Jackson Ellis in 2K15 for me. But hey Dante Exum, how are you going to hate from outside of the court? You can't even get minutes. I'm the one in the starting lineup for the Denver Thuggets, and you're over here on the bench watching Trey Burke start at point guard for the Jazz. All right, let's go. Give me the rock. I got Cantor guarding me. Oh, post hook shot. Left hand. It's good. First play of the game. Scrub. Come on, Cantor. Work on your free throws, man. Wilson. Wilson! Wilson Chandler. First dime of the game. That's my rebound. So right now I have two, two, and one. Right here, Foy. I'll post him up. Go bear. The spin in the post and the left-handed hook shot. Nope, that's a big mistake. Oh, did you see me just grab the ball? From behind without even looking at it? Like a boss? Wow, yeah, I just took Trey Burke off the dribble. Let's get a replay. Two hand, thunderous slam from the baddest one, number 99. And yes, this is on Hall of Fame difficulty. And I'll show you the difficulty modifier after the game so you know it's real. Ha! <laughs> oh man, Novak. You don't belong inside the three-point line. All right, we got the block leading to a score. 
Good defense. I have a B-plus grade right now. 59-51, to 51, so if we score right now, we could make it a 10-point game. Got him. A follow and one! I'm dropping dimes, and a follow is going to the line. There's a block. Oh, two in a row. Nope, but it was good defense. Now we have an A-minus grade. Wilson? Get in there. And I got the assist. I thought that might have been too late to get the dime. Jeff step. You can't contain me. Come on, Derek Favors. That defense is mediocre. You're mediocre. I'm right here. I'm right here. Thank you. Yeah, you can't handle the pressure. You're not as good of a ball handler as I am. I mean, just check this. Oh, step back. Oh. I'm telling you, coach just needs to put me at point guard. I mean, what is he waiting for? Wow, I just got penalized for holding the ball too long. Hit that. Yeah, you see, that's what I'm talking about. I wasn't holding the ball for too long. I was just surveying the defense. Get that. There we go. Up by 10 points. I'm running the point. A follow. Oh, I thought he was going to shoot it. I got it. There we go. So we have the A plus grade. We're nearing in on like a 20 and 20 game. Get that. Yes, I'm getting 20 and 20. I'm calling it right now. Hit that a follow. All right. Hey, they want me to get a triple double, I guess. Well, maybe not this game because the assists aren't there. Oh, was that a block? Yes, it was. And we're going. Look at me, Wilson. Thank you. And one. No. But I drew the foul. It's 92 to 80. The first one is good, so I only need one more point to drop 20 in this game. Ah, uh, yes. Three more rebounds for 20 and 20. Shoot it. Shoot it to miss it. Please. Yes, got it. Oh, I missed that one, though. All right. I got the 20 and 20 game. Not that it matters, you know. I'm not a stat person. I'm all about the team, baby. I'm just glad we got the win. How about one more bucket? Yeah? One more. Oh, mismatch. I got Trey Burke on me. Oh, nope. So right now I have 22, 21, and 5 assists. Alright, let's make it 22 and 22. And one last buzzer beater. You ready? Tragic Bronson. At the buzzer. No good. But we got the win. 98 to 86 over Dante Exum and the Jazz. Not only did I get the 22 and 22, I had seven blocks. So come off season, I'm going to be looking for that max contract. Good work tonight. Yeah, nice win. Yeah, you fed me the rock. I got in a rhythm. And we walked out of here with a W, just the way we drew it up. We do what we got to do to win, right? You know it. Now let's get out of here. All right, let's roll. Got my bag. <laughs> Wow, so that's what it is, huh? What the heck is this? Yo, what are you doing with my phone, man? You ain't my mom.
What you doing giving up on this team, playing for next season, before the season even over? Chill, man. This just idle talk. You know how agents are. They always trying to feel involved. I ain't giving up on nothing. For real. Hey, I know this team gave me my first shot, and I'm gonna keep working my tail off for them until they tell me to go away. All right? I'm here with y'all. All right. Just make sure you don't leave no bonehead texts out in the public but everybody can see him, you know? During the team's current winning streak, how concerned have you been with making sure you get yours? Well, it's never about numbers with me. It's about wins. And as long as we got it rolling like tonight, I'm good. I ain't tripping. Okay, let's go to the gentleman in the front. Troy? You had a tough time taking care of the ball tonight. Why? There's actually no excuse. I have to be more deliberate with the ball. Whenever you're careless with the ball in this league, teams will make you pay. And that's what happened tonight. I gotta be more careful. You, sir? Well, it's no secret you're approaching free agency. Do you plan to give a hometown discount if they make an offer? You know, I'm not really concerned with that, all right? I just want to finish the season off nice and strong and let my agent deal with the numbers. You mean to tell me you're the only professional athlete who doesn't care about money? That's not what I said. I said I'd let my agent deal with the numbers. You may not believe this, but all of us just don't sit up at night dreaming about how much bank we can make. Some of us just want to play the game, run with good teammates, and compete for a title. I mean, it might blow your mind, but I'm just trying to hoop, bro. Does that answer your question? That's what I thought. Thank you. <laughs> 